Oxy, how can I find a job in Dubai? Because um, as I mentioned, the markets, is, it's so dynamic. There's so many different mm. sectors that are hiring and making people redundant, unfortunately. Dubai, it's the glitz and glamour place and the salaries are amazing. Yeah. And uh, you cannot be a single male and mm. enter with a visa. Hey guys, welcome to Oxy Vlogs. On this channel, I talk about work, life and business in Dubai. And you've been asking me, Oxy, how can I find a job in Dubai? So today I have a special guest, uh, Trisha Chapman. She's a consultant and she helps people to find a dream job in Dubai. And we decided to record a couple of interviews and share more tips with you that will help you with this job search process in the UAE. Hi, Trisha. Thank you for coming today. Uh, please, can you introduce yourself in a couple of words? Yes, first of all, thank you so much for having me on your channel. It's really great to see that you have expanded and really helping the job seeker or the community out there. So it's a pleasure to be invited. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm Trisha Chapman. I'm the managing partner of Impressive CV. Uh, we are an SME that focuses on all of the tools necessary for a successful job application. So these days, that means not only your CV, cover letter, but also the likes of LinkedIn optimization and personal branding. So I guess maybe just in, uh, in summary, I, I could give your audience a little bit about my background. So I'm actually a registered nurse, uh, a nurse by trade, I guess, as they say. Um, I started about five years ago helping nurses and doctors in Sharjah, which is um, a little a town outside of Dubai, um, apply for jobs, especially those looking to, to find employment abroad, as well as bigger or better opportunities in Dubai. And over time I thought, hang on a minute, if I'm doing this so frequently, why don't I turn this into a business model? So this is now my fifth year coming on to Impressive CV and third year really honing in on, on people outside of the healthcare sector. So I think um, it's, it's a dynamic industry that's always changing and really important to keep up to speed with what's happening. Yeah, and uh, we all know that COVID-19 changed our lives and a lot of people last, uh, lost their jobs. So what do you think about the current situation mm. in Dubai? Yeah, it's a really good question because um, as I mentioned, the markets, is, it's so dynamic. There's so many different mm. sectors that are hiring and making people redundant, unfortunately. But I really think there is um, room to, for people and candidates, job seekers to flourish. There are definitely uh, sectors that are hiring. For example, digital marketing, a lot of business analysts from a digital standpoint, um, healthcare, there is not enough nurses and doctors at the moment. There's a big campaign here going on to, to uh, search for qualified nurses. Um, unfortunately, the likes of your hotel and hospitality sectors suffer, which obviously, you know, the less, least amount of tourists uh, in, this, in the industry or on the ground, the less amount of staff that they need. Um, IT, cyber security, these types of roles are hiring. Um, so there definitely is opportunities out there, but it's just a matter of doing your research into those sectors. So people still have an opportunity to get a job. Absolutely, absolutely. And to be quite honest, this is probably one of the major countries um, or regions, I should say, mm -hmm. that actually is hiring and has a lot of success with candidates. Um, however, you do have to be in the current uh, in the country to be able to sign a contract at present. They don't generally uh, hire uh, uh, candidates unless they're located in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So. Usually the, the sea level type positions yeah. are accepted um, out of the country, but at the moment you must be in Dubai. Guys, before we continue, I want to say that if you've been looking for a job in Dubai, but you have no success, you don't hear back from recruiters and you feel desperate, uh, Trisha can help you to get your dream job. Trisha, can you please introduce uh, your services and how you can help? Absolutely. So we offer an array of personalized services. We work one-to-one -one with all of our job seekers. We support them with LinkedIn optimization, cover letters, and of course, CV writing. Mm -hmm. And for those aspiring leaders or people with more than 15 years of experience, mm -hmm. we offer support with personal branding, personality assessments, and of course, interview coaching. And do you help uh, candidates to connect with recruiters? 
Absolutely, so we've got a dedicated UAE job, search, job seeking package. This, uh, it has a list of all of the available recruiters within the industry. There's over 50 listed in this package. And of course, um, cover letter writing and email pitches and CV writing templates. Oh, sounds great, thank you very much. And uh, what people should research before they come to Dubai? Mm. So as I mentioned, definitely visa requirements. So they're ever changing. There's lots of evolutions occurring. Mm -hmm. I'll just give you one specific example. Um, so recently um, the, the, they announced or the government announced that you cannot be a single male visa and enter the, uh, you cannot be a single male and mm -hmm. enter with the visa. Um, but these things are always changing. So it's sort of based on the supply demand at the, at the, at the current time. It's really important to find out where the jobs are located. So for example, you know, you don't book a hotel in Sharjah, but actually all of the positions that you are considering or looking at are in Abu Dhabi because public transport here is quite different compared to other regions and parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to, to research where you're looking to hire and make sure that your accommodation is planned um, around that area. I think it's really important as well to expand and grow on your network. Uh, it's such a market here that it's so important to have you know, references or at least people you know who can point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. As they say, it's all about who you know, not what you know. So do you advise people to start searching for a job uh, while they're in their home country or when they come to Dubai? So my strong recommendation is do your research prior to coming. You don't really want to waste your three months. Now I know three months sounds like quite a while, mm -hmm. but Dubai generally things do happen a little bit slowly compared to maybe other regions. Now I'm not saying that's a good thing or bad thing, but just be aware things take time. So you don't want to waste opportunities while you're sitting in your hotel. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to research and target the companies, the sectors, maybe even um, find or research, you know, hiring managers that you could at least have a digital coffee with or even meet face to face if applicable or, you know, depending, of course, on the COVID situation. Mm -hmm. um, but plan in advance. I don't think it's worth wasting your time in the hotel room mm -hmm. starting your job search. Um, and I think just uh, one other fact point that came to my mind was that um, you can target companies um, that are close to one another, you know, like cross-functional sectors and roles and finding out who is actually hiring. Mm -hmm. So you said that um, before you come to Dubai or even when you come to Dubai, it's important to start building your network. So what are the best ways to build network in Dubai if you mm -hmm. come alone and you don't know anyone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. So these days it's really hard getting a response from a recruiter. Mm -hmm. So even some of my own clients, you know, Trisha, what can we do? We're not hearing back anything. So, and, and I kind of understand from, from two standpoints. So recruiters are obviously getting hundreds, maybe even thousands of email requests or, um, you know, conversations in their LinkedIn inbox. So you need to th start thinking outside of the box. How can I get attention or how can I get, you know, focus on me? Mm. So a couple of um, strategies that have worked in a especially with my clients or you know just the chit chat around on the on the digital spaces mm -hmm. attend zoom calls so quite often you know people are um, doing webinars live webinars or a zoom recording and you can sign up get your registration and um, you can create a video cv to be able to uh, send across into into inboxes or post a link to it um, share this on those digital digital events that you go to and engage in meaningful conversations. So don't just put, you know, one or two word comments on people's posts on LinkedIn, for example. Develop a relationship in a rapport by frequently and consistently um, posting on the digital space. I think also it's important to learn of anything that's upcoming. So, you know, some in some cases there are events um, that might be live or face-to-face -face meetings that you can, you may have to pay for some of these but at the end of the day it's an investment because you never know who you'll meet. Another important point uh, that I always recommend my subscribers that when you come to Dubai to look for a job 
uh, you should expect at least that it can take several months for you to get something and you need budget to live in Dubai and Dubai is an expensive city so what can you recommend in this case? Yeah this is something that people always get sucked into you know they, they say Dubai it's the glitz and glamour place and the salaries are amazing and which yes I mean it's a tax-free place at the moment they they do obviously have their VAT um, and salaries are on the higher side compared to you know Europe or or, um, or those types of the regions but don't people often forget and maybe people don't discuss that actually the cost of living in Dubai is actually it's quite high mm. so you know for example eating out it's it's a lot more expensive than what you would find elsewhere even in my home country of Australia mm. um, hotels and rent for example again although you can get some great deals but if you're going to be staying here for a, on a long-term basis these are the types of things that you need to analyze, you know, cost analysis, work out, because it's not cheap. Um, even bottles of water, for example, you know, you, you need to add things up because you can't be drinking out of the tap water here. So these types of things you need to consider into your, into your budgets. Um, taxis, if you've got meetings booked, um, again, factor these things in because public transport, again, there's, there's one metro. Um, one metro line. Especially when it's plus 40 outside. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely, absolutely. You don't want to be going to, to, from one maybe walk-in interview or, or, or interview, you know, dripping in sweat and, and the makeup's all gone and yeah. <laughs> the men's hair <laughs> is, uh, it's definitely factors to consider because it does get hot and humid. And even when you get hired, let's say, uh, so you received your contract, the first months usually you need to spend your own money before you start getting salaries. So you need to make sure that I uh, think you have budget to cover your accommodation and transportation before you get salary. This yeah, is also absolutely. Because most companies here, I, I'm confident to say most, but it, you're paid on a monthly basis. Yeah. So people often forget exactly right that, that the, the first salary is actually not going to be until 28, 30 days until actually your joining day. So then you've got to factor in all of the time that you've just spent yeah. without income plus the extra month until you get your first salary. Thank you, Trisha, for this uh, episode. In our next video, we're going to talk about uh, CV, what you need to write there, how to structure the right CV so it will go through ATS system and you will find your dream job. Thank you for watching this video. And again, if you are interested in the services that Trisha provides, you can find the link in the description below. And I will see you in the next episode. See you soon.